All right, guys, today we're going to clean our Glowforge lenses. So you can see that this guy is pretty dirty. I've used it quite a bit, but today we're only going to clean the lenses. We'll do another video where we clean, deep clean, the whole machine. You can even see up in there all kinds of good stuff that's been in here. I'd cut mostly wood and acrylic. So we're going to start this thing off. You're going to need your handy tool. You want to make sure that your machine is powered off and unplugged. So make sure that that's all set. And then we've got our handy dandy box of wipes. These are the ones that I got. They were cheap on Amazon. You get a whole ton of them. They work just as good as the Zeiss wipes. Pretty much any lens wipe is going to work for you. All right. <clears throat> So, our machine's off, it's unpowered. Again, you can see how dirty this guy is. This thing should move pretty freely. So it's all right if you touch stuff, you're gonna clean it. So we're gonna take off the print head. We're gonna flip this guy, take that, just pinch it, pull it out. Take that off, Oop. Stuff's already ready to come out. Just be careful with that. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to get in here and get cleaning on it. You'll be all right. <clears throat> Open up our handy dandy wipe. Start polishing. Doing a circular motion so that way you don't scratch anything. Make sure you don't have any dust, lint, whatever on top of there. Looks squeaky clean. So let's go ahead and pop that guy back in there. And you don't have to do anything funny with that. You just let it sit in there. Pop that back on. So we'll get that one right there. Again, circular motions. Make sure that's nice and clean. Flip it over. You've got that little guy. You got this little guy. And then we take our tool. Magnetic side up, stick that right in there, it'll click, pull that lens out, circular motions, and just do it just like that. We'll flip her over. You can see that there's a little residue that's built up on there. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. Got that. All right, see how there's a little arrow that's on there? So we want that up. So we're gonna flip this guy over, pop that guy up. You're gonna take this guy, now obviously don't touch that lens head, and you're gonna pop that guy back up in there, push it up, and then you can check this back here. All right, this fan looks a little dirty. Give her a little wipe ski. Get it clean. You can clean on here too. Check your wheels, just make sure everything's looking good, nothing's worn, nothing's broken, make sure it's sliding. You can give your little track a wipe. We're gonna use another wipe to get the other ones. So just make sure stuff is kind of clean. If you have the inline fan, that really helps as far as keeping this thing pretty clean. So I definitely recommend that. It's one of the best uh, investments, 100 bucks that you can spend to protect your investment here. It definitely helps reduce cleaning on your machine. So go ahead, hook your ribbon cable back up, make sure everything is all good back up in here. Slide this guy back up into there, so it clicks. Again, it should free flow. Give that a wipe, why not? You can see how nasty it's getting. All right, let's throw that away. Grab another one. So there's other lenses that are up in here too. So I don't know if you can see that, but up in there, there's another lens that's way back in there. And then we're gonna wipe down the camera lens up there too. So again, I like to have a fresh one. That one that's deep in the corner there, that is one of the most important ones because that sends that beam back. And if that's not clean, it's gonna screw up your cut. So we're gonna get up in there. Again, circular motions. 
get that thing nice and clean. You can see there's a little bit of residue up there. And then we're gonna get this one, nice clean wipe right there. And then since this is fresh, you can go ahead, you can wipe whatever you want. Again, we're gonna do one where we deep clean the machine. But you can see how dirty it gets. This isn't even gonna touch this. Ugh, gross. So throw that away. But other than that, this thing is ready to go. We're ready to load up with some material and get it cut. So pop that up there. You can just leave that. It'll be fine. If you use different types of solvents for cleaner, then uh, leave it open, let it dry out a little bit. But usually the alcohol-based wipes, it evaporates off pretty quick. All right, so now that it's air dried a little bit, we're gonna throw a piece of acrylic in here. We got some rose gold from my boy TC Acrylics, based out of Texas. He's pretty awesome, his acrylic is kick ass. So I definitely recommend uh, his stuff. Um, so we're gonna cut some earrings. Um, so the first thing I do is take my handy dandy pins. The file is on our page. Go ahead and pin it down. Oh, one of the casualties of them is they don't last that long, so. That's why I always print a few, so that way we got them. And you see, when I tap it, you can hear that. It's not pinned down all the way. So this helps just keep everything down, especially when you're cutting acrylic. Sometimes the heat can cause them to pop up. So a couple pins, just in a couple places. You can see that it's nice. I'm gonna put one down here. And you can twist these things. They move around pretty good. So I'll use usually the busted ones. If I can get it into the honeycomb. My goodness. All right, this one's going in the trash. There we go. Put that down there. And get one down in here. All right, our stuff is done. Let's go ahead and turn the machine on. Ah. Oof, dirty, dirty. All right. To our Glowforge app. Let's find where's the one we want. gonna do I'm gonna take this copy it I'm gonna go back into this one I'm gonna add it in maybe it'll let us of course not all right so we're waiting for the glowforge it's centering it's doing its thing getting calibrated So I put in medium gold acrylic. Obviously there isn't anything that fits that bill. 
So we'll just do medium black. It should be pretty sufficient there. We're gonna zoom out a little bit just to make sure that we get this thing on target. And we're gonna go in this corner here, just cause I can kind of see the edge of my material. Acrylic's expensive, so I don't wanna waste it. I'm try to get it as close to the edge as possible. And obviously we don't want it cutting off. Whoa. So you can see when you cross over the plane, it goes from red to gray. Got it cut, set to cut. I'm gonna do proof grade cut. Another nice thing about using those pins is I like to wiggle a couple after they're done and ready just to make sure because then you can always recut and it'll cut right over the same spot if you take them out. Chances of getting everything back in the same spot are next to none. You can also take a piece of tape and uh, stick it to it just to see if a couple pop out. If you have them popping out, then you know you're good. So this thing's getting ready to go. <clears throat> You can see with that mirror, it definitely shines right back up to the, the hood. All right, so we got almost six minutes to cut. Come on back over here. Press our handy dandy blue button. And we're off to the races. Love the way it cuts acrylic, cuts like butter.
So another reason I like this TC acrylic, look at that. Damn near everything fell out, obviously because we just cleaned it. But his acrylic just cuts so nice. Ready to go and make some errands.